This program demonstrates the practical aspects of conducting small bowel capsule endoscopy with PILCAM SB. This is a medical procedure for the detection and diagnosis of diseases and disorders of the small intestine. Given Imaging's ingestible PILCAM SB video capsule records color images throughout the digestive tract. The images are later downloaded to the Rapid Workstation to form the Rapid Video for review and interpretation. To ensure that patients arrive prepared, you can give them copies of the patient instructions, which can be printed from the Rapid Workstation. Instruct patients to arrive for the procedure dressed in loose-fitting, two-piece clothing and to refrain from applying lotions or powders on the abdomen. Patients must be on a liquid diet from lunchtime the day before the examination and a complete food and liquid fast for at least 12 hours prior. They should not take any medication during the two hours before the exam. Before the patient arrives, make sure that you have all the required equipment ready, a PILCAM SB, the small bowel sensor array and adhesive sleeves, data recorder 2, recorder belt, and any accessories you may require for pediatric or very large patients. If you are using data recorder versions that predate data recorder 2, refer to the user manual. Prepare the sensor array by inserting each sensor into an adhesive sleeve with the dots and this side up markings facing away from the adhesive side of the sleeve. Now perform patient check-in to prepare the data recorder for capsule endoscopy. Before you begin, check that all four of the battery LEDs on the data recorder are lit, indicating that the battery is fully charged. In the rapid application, click the data recorder icon in the upper left corner of the screen. Then click patient check-in. The rapid program will guide you through the process of entering patient data. Click ready and remove the data recorder from its cradle. Now it's time to attach the sensor array. Ask the patient to lie down and expose the stomach down to the pubic bone. If necessary, shave the areas where the sensors will be placed. It can be helpful to mark the locations in advance. The sensor location guide will show you exactly where to place each sensor according to its label and color. Take care not to place sensors in inguinal folds or areas that may cause equipment damage. Adjustments may be required based on the patient's anatomy or surgical history, such as presence of an ostomy pouch. Lay the sensor array on the patient's body, making sure the sensor array connector is at the